slash marker grape tainted Jacob run. All right. Yeah, I think like the way I understand what happened there, we got sucked in by the boss. It sucked the ghost and me together, which meant I touched the ghost, which meant I turned into the lost. It's kind of, you know, is it BS a little bit? <laughs> I got one thing on the post-it note. What the? But I'd be mom. Oh, but it was mausolea mom, so it doesn't count. Okay, let's let's unlock um, let's unlock tainted Apollyon. I haven't heard anybody talk about them, but let's give it a try. It's very cool. How about that? It's sus. Sus porcine. You gotta be here earlier in the stream to understand it. Karma police arrest this man. He talks in maths. The Polyon always start with 2 HP. Probably. I don't know, dude. There's so many new characters and mechanics in the game. Like, I, I, I can't trust my old memories. Feels nice to not be chased for the whole run, though. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's helping my brain out here. Her minkus head, do is making me feel ill. It's like Marge Simpson's pompadour. No more chasing time to banter. Yeah, but, oh, frick. People keep asking me about soccer, man. I got no opinions about soccer. The beautiful game. I got nothing. Your opinion on Meet the Fockers? Actually, okay, first. Egg of Nog. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Tis the season to be jolly. Tha 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 thank you. Um Meet the Parents, decent movie. <laughs> Some humor there. Uh Meet the Fockers. Planetarium? Meet the Fockers, bad movie. Nobody's gonna uh take too much of an issue with that, I think. But Meet the Fockers, I think it was the first movie I ever saw that had truth serum in it. Robert De Niro, you know, ex-CIA, injects um, Ben Stiller, his son-in-law, with truth serum to figure out, I forget, like, if he's working with a foreign government or something like that. Um, and he starts, he starts telling the truth. He says, they say if you want to know what someone will look like when they get older, look at their mother. Well, I'm a-looking and I'm a-liking. And I remember, they, you know, they get great hijinks, you know, as a result of this. Um, come on, man. You got to give me a key. However, it got me thinking, like, is truth serum a real thing? Like, it doesn't... It, it can't be, right? Like, a mechanism that causes you to be forced to tell the truth when you answer a question? Alcohol? Alcohol is not truth serum. People on, that are, you know, drunk are like some of the biggest liars of all time. Excuse me, sir, have you had anything to drink tonight? No. Vsauce tested it. Okay, but how, what happened? Just because they tested it, like what, what was the result of the test? They died. Rip, rip Vsauce. You know what? At least they died doing what they loved. Science. Man. They're really gonna make me work for this key, huh? Yoink. Well, the secret room is easy enough. The secret room is easy enough. It's right here. 
Told ya. Money. Not funny. Dude, this is like... I'm a little upset, honestly. Such a low percentage chance to get a planetarium on the first floor. And then... Uh, no key to open it with. That's like... It's just rude, man. It's just rude. Kind of funny, though. You can get it on the way back up, yo! <laughs> You're absolutely right. Open it on the return path. Does it stay around? I don't know. Let's hope so. Anyway, I just I don't know if I believe in it. Like, I, you know, here's why it doesn't pass the smell test for me. The, the sodium pentothal stuff. Why would torture exist? If you could just, like, hit him with the little syringe of sodium pentothal and then, like, get all the information you ever needed. Right? You wouldn't, you know, resort to breaking a dude's kneecaps or, like, setting up the waterboard table or something like that. If you could just be like, yoink, where's the, you know, where's the bomb? It doesn't work like that? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we had Jack Ryan in chat. Okay, if, if it wouldn't violate your security clearance, instead of just telling me how it doesn't work, maybe you could type the mechanism by which it actually works? Oh, that's, that's for me to know and you to find out. At ROTC, they told us not to share this information with anybody else under punishment of getting an atomic wedgie. Okay, Mom's Pearl, pretty good. We don't go there yet. You know, a, a bomb would give us an HP upgrade. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. It makes it harder for your brain to come up with lies. You know, I mean, I'm not calling Vsauce into question here. If Vsauce did it, and that's the effect that they experienced, then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to put my doubts aside. There's a, it, it, this is like a, a, a coulda versus shoulda situation. We could buy both, and then suck them both up. But then we'd have two useless items that were sucked up. I'm not sure that's worth that much. <laughs> Rather have a Tinted Rock, I think, than an Eternal Heart here. Okay, um... They're not that bad. They're not that good, either. If we buy the sack, the sack will have a key. We use the key to get into the item room. We suck up uh, Polyphemus because it's uh, trash. Told you there was a key. True. Sure. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, believe it or not, you son of a bitch. You're still going to burn. That's... Uh... What's the guy's name from The Matrix? I told you we're sucking it up, man. It's the one that that's Tank, right? I always it, is is it one of those like mafia nicknames where he's called Tank because he's like actually kind of tiny? Like, don't get me wrong, he's built, but then like his brother's called Dozer. Dozer is like six foot five, two sixty. Tank was like you know five five and a. Don't get me wrong, like a lean 130, like he'd, he'd still, you know, he'd catch me off guard with his hand speed in the ring, I'm just saying. I will. I will. I'm glad I did. Okay. If there's a battery charge, maybe we'll suck them both up. I don't know. I don't know, man. These don't take eternal hearts anymore. So there's there's some plays to be done here, maybe. Luck is at one. Doesn't affect this, but... You have a battery on the floor. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. 
I didn't know Tank was, was Tommy Chong's son. That's incredible intel. You know, that's it. Uh, here, if for anybody that doesn't know, and you're gonna be like, everybody knows this, but I guarantee not everybody knows this. Um, the guy who plays John Walker in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is Kurt Russell's son. He's been around for a few years. He's been in a variety of different media projects, including an episode of Black Mirror. But a lot of people don't know that it's uh, that is Kurt Russell's son. What? See, I told you. Which Black Mirror was he in? It was called Playtest. Please, I just need the key. It was the one where he, he tests the Oculus Rift and it makes his brain go bad. What if VR was spooky? Please, man. Come on. Come on. What if me mom was a was an Oculus Rift? Dunk, dunk, dunk. Yes, he is he's in Overlord as well. That's a good movie. That's a fun movie. Honestly, who cares? I'm not sucking that up. I'm sucking this up, man. <gasps> Don't shoot. Stop shooting. One shot landed. That's We're probably fine, right? We can still run away. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's just keep rolling then. Both of the Russells are in the MCU. It's true, you just need Carrie Russell. She can play Felicity. See you later. Okay, this HP, obviously. Uh, obviously. I think, you know, it's a meme. <laughs> Why am I looking at it? I'm like, it sucks. These both kind of... I have the occult is not a good item, but on the other hand, I want to take it because it'll be funny. Which means we'll leave Dark Bum. We'll suck up Plum Flute. Grab this. It's a great item. I don't know. I'm kind of of the opinion that it's uh, poopy doopy. And the, the rest of planet Earth just hasn't come around to it yet. Amazing. Say it one more time, I dare ya. <laughs> Don't forget Mark Russello. Oh yeah, Mark Russello. One of my favorite actors. He's already in the he's already in the Marvel Cinematic Universe via um, the Incredible Hulk, obviously. Okay, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what we're doing. Right, we gotta we gotta leave a trinket behind. <clears throat> leave it on the next floor. What about Jack Russell Terriers? Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just like so good at some types of trivia, movies in particular, you know. Random, like, world capital, stuff like that. I'm pretty okay. I think if you put me up against the average human being in a question of, like, what type of dog is this, I bet I would perform one standard deviation below average. I know Chihuahuas. I know Shiba Inu. I feel... I, I know Pugs and English Bulldogs. Corgis... Wiener Dog, German Shepherd, Pitbull, Rottweiler, Great Dane. Once we get into the Collies and the, the Retrievers and the Terriers, I don't know. I don't know them. For a dollar, name a dog. Flowers? Honestly, I'm probably worse at flowers than I am at dogs. Roses, for sure. 
Venus flytraps, lilies, um, tulips. That might be it, man. Like, if, if sometimes, like, you'll see somebody and they'll be like, oh, look at the lilacs. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? How do you know that's a lilac? Like, I don't know what the hell a daffodil looks like or like a daisy. I have no clue. I actually have no idea. I'm not, I'm not putting on a front here. Sunflower. I know what a sunflower looks like. What did I suck up, man? I'm <laughs> like, I'm, I don't remember anything. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I have, I have black hole, right? Carnation. There used to be a, a Canadian. Oh, and the and the the plum flute. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there used to be a a Canadian greeting card chain called Carnation Cards. I feel like I could see their logo in my head. I would know what a carnation is. But I, I bet like I I would underperform the average hugely in a flower or dog trivia contest. One hundred percent. Sporkle flower quiz? Maybe one day. I'll put it on the list. You see I'm using my Steam wish list again. Unfortunately, like almost all the games on it are not out yet, with the exception of like my summer car. Dude, we could use the battery, and then we could use our cool effects, and then also suck up whatever item we get afterwards. Could you guess a Yorkshire Terrier? I'm just like, I'm confused about the Terriers, okay? I don't think so. Is that the one that looks, um... I'm trying to think about how to describe it. Yorkshire Terrier, it has like, um... Yeah, it has a mustache. It has, it has thick eyebrows. Like, it has Eugene Levy eyebrows. Is that correct? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I do no damage. What what happened to my damage? Could you name a border collie? I can, but only because of Apollo. I'm not even being insincere. Like I'm not using the void. I gotta save it to suck up whatever garbage they try to give me so I can turn it into shot speed. Next floor, we can use void on the boss fight because we'll have battery by that point. Dalmatian. I could name a Dalmatian for sure. 101 out of 101, I could name a Dalmatian. Guaranteed. Dude, I'm taking it. We need it. What a horrible night to have a curse. You don't say Dalmatian? You guys say Dalmatian? Uh, in before, um, that's how it's said. We, in, in Canada? We, I gotta ask Mouth and Sips, you know? I, I, there's another one. This is probably the first time I've ever said Dalmatian on stream. But in, in Canada, nobody has ever called me out for saying Dalmatian. I'm in Canada and we say Dal. Yeah, probably because you're over in frickin' Halifax, buddy. You got Dalhousie. We're talking about the rest of Canada. You know the part in it that people actually live in? I don't know if it's better for me if you're from Halifax or not from Halifax after that. Both reflect poorly. No keys. Would, would you believe it? Aren't you from Nova Scotia? Excuse me, take that back. I'm from Eastern Ontario. Hold on. We sucked up Black Hole. Give me the key, dude. Give me the key. Give me the- let's go! <laughs> He's a genius! He's a genius! Galaxy brain. 
feel like it used too much of my charge, though. Yeah, like, why did it use both charges, man? That hurts. It uses 1.17 charges? What is, the heck? Where do you guys find this information? <laughs> The heck are you talking? Oh, it, I'm saying it took that much? Oh, okay, so it took one and a sixth. All right. I understand. Okay, I gotta admit, the, the tears are doing some great work here. I, excuse me, I did not donut wall Apollo. Is Well, maybe I did. Is he here? I did see someone say, NL Apollo wishes you well. And I, I chose not to acknowledge it because I was like, you know, he can type it himself if he's here. Oh, he's here. Hello. Hello, Apollo. Don't know what. Get don't know what. Yo, Apollo, you want to play some Siege later? I'm just kidding. There's no room left in the lobby anyway. <laughs> I know you're not even here. <laughs> uh. He's in Vegas? Yeah, you, you ever hear of Rainbow Six Vegas and Rainbow Six Vegas 2? Two? two of the hottest games for the Xbox 360? Here's all I remember about Rainbow Six Vegas, okay? In the first episode, or the, the first mission in the campaign, you're in a helicopter, and the greatest innovation in gaming history took place. You could see your squad on the helicopter, and as they talked into their Xbox Live microphones, their characters would lip sync. Like, eat your heart out, uh, Star Citizen. They had that back in, like, 2007. What? It's true. Chris Roberts driving through downtown... I don't know where Ubisoft is headquartered, somewhere in France. Downtown Marseille, begging for the location of Yves Guillemot. Great range and luck upgrade. You love to see it. You love to see it. Siege is from Ubisoft Montreal. I knew I uh, liked that game for a reason. <laughs> it's true, the more tier effects we get, the more we're gonna be happy to have luck. Although I'm not totally convinced that like, uh, you know, two luck is gonna do it for us, but we got a ways to go. Is it Ubi? I thought it was Ubi. It doesn't matter, like, you know, most of the gaming arguments happen online where you don't have to worry about pronunciation or like, you know, making a good point and then if you stutter, people go and <laughs> well, you stuttered when he was trying to argue, like, and you're supposed, you're gonna try to tell me to believe this guy? That's why the internet arguments are, are so much better, so much more productive, so fitter, happier, more productive. Dude, the luck's getting out of control. You're not wrong. Apollo, I'm losing my mind, by the way. Why is it that every single tweet that you make about anything gets two and a half thousand likes now? And then sometimes also, I, I look in the replies and they're... I'm not trying to put you on the spot, okay? And I'm not trying to make anybody in that particular fandom annoyed either but i was laughing like that there's uh like apollo stan accounts like uh, there were and uh, whatever they're like they're they're teenagers right i'm not making fun of them but i'm more making fun of apollo <laughs> that like somebody replied to, to one of your tweets and i looked at their profile and their profile was like five plus dog twit like TWT, and I was like, this guy, he's got, I didn't know, he's got genuine stands now. Who would have thought? 
He roasts them daily. You're good. <laughs> okay, well, it's just funny. I probably blocked all my stands. Sometimes somebody tweets me and they have like my face in their Twitter avatar. Like that's a mute instantly. I am not joking at all either. Like that's. A <laughs> I'm like you. You. You're only with me until you're against me. Is is what I can tell from this. Yeah. If you got Funky Kong as your as your avatar, you're good to go. Funky Kong is not an NL stan anyway. He's a he's a funky stan. He's a reply guy for sure, but not a stan. Two different things. We love the reply guys. I mean, I'm a chib reply guy. Anytime I see a chib tweet, I already have it pre-typed. So true, bestie. Then in my profile, favorited by Chibli. April 14th, 2021. I am a Levy reply guy. It's even worse because he doesn't reply to my replies. I'm turning into swim fan. I'm hitting him with all these amazing jokes. He doesn't reply at all. He's too busy trying to deflect all the endless drama that happens in the chess ecosystem. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, it's good. KFC Turkey is getting canceled because they made fun of poor people that can't afford food? Look, okay. So much to dissect here, okay? The phrase KFC Turkey is just hilarious to begin with, because KFC's chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken Turkey released a <laughs> questionable statement today. Then, like, I want to know what's what's the nuance on this that, uh, that led to... Because surely they didn't just go like, hey, be glad you're not broke so you can buy our new, like, crispy chicken basket or something, right? Surely there was, like, there was an ill-advised attempt at a joke, maybe? I was glancing. <laughs> what the? Get out of here, man. This is, this is bad. Starting to think I shouldn't have sucked up the fallen item. Stop glancing. Okay, glances have been ceased like a like a less discharge. Saved. I didn't even throw it, dude. Get him, get him. I need that spirit heart, dude. Okay, we gotta leave this trinket behind as well. Yeah, thank you. Leave a trinket. Tears upgrade, very nice. We say no to those. Don't move. Move. Okay, anyway. I need to I need to see the context on this. Okay, let, let me take a look. We got time. KFC Turkey. Tweet. Just checking. Just K K KFC Turkey. Search for KFC Turkey. I, I can't find the... I can't find the reason they were canceled. I think I've been baited. I think they've been doing a little trolling. I think it's fake lore. Somebody in chat just works for Popeyes. You know, it's possible. It's possible we've just been the victim of corporate espionage. Remember when Burger King donated like five bucks to streamers to get them to say Burger King on stream? <laughs> so good. I'm not even mad. I think it's, I mean, it didn't happen to me to begin with. I just think it's extremely hilarious. If it happened to me, I also would not have been mad. I would have, I would have just been, uh, I mean, you gotta respect it in some way. 
It's guerrilla marketing. No! I, get, I don't have the speed necessary to escape, man! On second thought, under no circumstances do you have to hand it to them? Yeah, hey man, you're not supposed to use... Oh, check this out. Okay, you ready? Da -da 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 can we Come on, we gotta sneak it through. Anyway, the, the joke was gonna be, hey, you're not supposed to use text-to-speech for free advertising. You're supposed to use it to um, say something that shouldn't be said in public, and then it gets played over my phone's Bluetooth speakers in, uh, like, a grocery store and freaks everybody out for clips. Come on, man. We, we try. We try. Um, just chill? We're just chilling. Like to chill with you. We're chilling. Hope you like chilling too. Sorry, I was watching The Simpsons this weekend. Let's go. It's a sign in Turkish that says it's free to look at. Well, you know, I I don't know about the context of it. That doesn't sound that bad. Oh, it's free to look at? Well, I guess uh, all the calories I used to build my eyes were just uh, charity then. <laughs> Sorry, that's my impression of, of you. <laughs> Jimmy John's has a sign that says free smells. Dude, I had a great idea. So, like, Subway is really falling out of the, the public favor. Number of different reasons. One being the sandwiches don't taste that good. Um, we out. Two, um, the report that the chicken wasn't actually chicken. It was made more of, uh, it had a higher percentage of soy in it by mass than anything else. Um, and then three, just like changing consumer tastes, like the increasing awareness that consumers have that eating a foot of bread for every meal is, I'm just going to get blown up, okay, is actually not healthy for you. Um, I think that what they should do, and I'm not a, a business guy, I'm just a sandwich enthusiast. Terrible. Just terrible. Um, I think what Subway should do is go the Taco Bell route and just make absolutely disgusting stoner drunk sandwiches. Like in the same way that, uh, you know, they released Doritos Tacos Locos and stuff like that. Just make like garbage. And try to carve out a space for yourself in an environment where you no longer really have a brand identity. Like, I want to see, like, chicken finger sandwiches. I want to see... I don't even know. What, what about, like, queso dip in a Subway baguette bowl? Like, give me, give me some trash, man. Like, just to get you a, a little leverage in an increasingly competitive marketplace. I believe... It. I told you we'd get polyphemus. I did also tell you I'd suck it up. Like, do you know what Subway's new thing is? And I, I can already tell this is going to be a classic sort of bit. Get, get, your, um, get your clips ready. Subway, you know, they've been suffering in the food service marketplace for a long time. Um, so they have to come out with new ideas. You know what their new idea is? I saw it on TV last night. Potato bun sidekicks. Always struggle. Hey, man, people don't want to eat potato chips as, like, a side to their sandwich anymore. What should we do? Sell them smaller sandwiches as an addition to the sandwich that they already purchased. Because after I eat a six-inch sandwich, you know what I really want to do is eat a tiny sandwich on a Kaiser roll. It's just, like, like, what? I, I don't understand. Like, the marketing is like, hey, for two fifty, you can add a potato bun Reuben sandwich. And I'm like, I'm already eating of the freaking foot of salami every time I go into your store. I don't want more sandwiches, man. I'm telling you, if Subway starts making garbage, you know what they got to start selling? Ice cream sandwiches. They started selling Italian ice cream sandwiches. Then we'd be talking. Hey, after your sandwich, go ahead, grab an Italian ice cream sandwich. 
It's still worth it. You know what? No, I'm not sucking this up because I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a mother effing handful. Okay, so get blasted. Anyway, I think Subway is a real problem. I'm the only person I know who admits to going there, and it, the only reason I even like it is because of nostalgia, is which is a really weird reason to like eat a food. Beautiful. Moving on. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to... Yeah, yeah. Or alt path? No, no. Alt path. Let's go. Let's go alt path. <laughs> Just for a bit. Just to see how it feels. Double item rooms. Why would you ever go to Subway instead of Jimmy John's? Well, like, all we got in Canada is... I mean, all we got in Vancouver, as far as sandwich chains go, is Subways. There's, yeah, there's myriad Subways, but very few alternatives, you know. They've, they've got the same benefit that, like, you know, Tim Hortons and Starbucks have. It's always nicer to go to, like, a bespoke coffee shop. I thought there were going to be enemies spawning. Um... But you know what's even nicer than that is, uh, hey, on this corner, there's both a Starbucks and a Tim Hortons, so... You know, they, how much time do you want to take out of your day just to get the moral superiority from, from buying local? Yeah, the music is sick down here, you're not wrong. It's a double suck, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I've ever... You know, I can't say that for certain. I was going to say that I don't think I've ever seen a Mr. Sub in Canada at all. But, uh... I don't know if I can back that up. It's been a long time, though. Definitely, it's like it's not even close. There's a, there's a company or a restaurant called Meat and Bread that's been expanding a lot. They make really, really good sandwiches that are like a... Maybe like one dollar sign higher in the in the price tier um they're very good but they're not everywhere and being everywhere you know that's that's a real competitive advantage no thank you can you name two things meat and bread offers yes every day they have a um a porchetta sandwich made with pork belly as well as the skin of the pork. They usually also have a meatball sandwich um, and a buffalo chicken, and then they have a daily special as well. I don't know, if you were trying to gatekeep meat and bread, you're like, you've never eaten that meat and bread. I eat there every day and I've never seen you. It's good, man. I recommend it. You in New York? New York? Um, no, if I was in New York, I would get a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, and pepper, ketchup, mayo on a roll. Yes, sir. You already know the vibe. Do, do, do. Do, do. It's such good music. He's spitting. He's on X Games mode. Okay, we gotta go a little faster. I don't wanna be late for Rainbow Six, but I also don't wanna die. It's a tough question. We're moving. I agree that Canada needs, uh, I, I mean, just in general, I would, I would welcome more fast food chains. I don't mind buying local either. Like, we, we shop at a lot of local businesses, but, like, you know, there's some times where I don't want to pay $15 and wait, like, 17 minutes for my sandwich to come out. Like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to cram, like, a log of salted pork product into my mouth as fast as is humanly possible. Oh, like you're doing right now? <laughs> I don't know what they are, and we never will. Dude, the range is getting out of control here. Do you think you could run a successful, fast, casual chain restaurant? Uh, no. 
I do. I mean, I think I could learn, but like with my existing skill set, no. I mean, that's I, I. I would have to be a fool to watch as much Kitchen Nightmares as I've watched and be like, all oh, these idiots, you know, committed the sin of overconfidence. If only they were as smart as I was, then they wouldn't run into that problem. I think it's you know you you gotta have a you gotta learn, you gotta have a skill set, you gotta, you know you. I have no experience in the realm whatsoever. There are some, though, where I'm like, how could you, like, screw it up, right? <laughs> like, for a while, like, Starbucks seemed like such a lock. It's like, if you just, you know, buy a Starbucks, like, you're, you know, out of control. Nothing could stop you. Midnight snack, classic item. For a dollar, buy a Starbucks. Buy a Starbucks. Could you run a franchise better than a lot of people? I don't know, man. That's a tough question. <laughs> it's... I, I don't know if there's a right answer to that. This is, it's too... It's too ambiguous. I'm sure I could run it better than a lot of people. Could I run it better than more people who would run it better than me? Have you ever had a dream that you wanted him to franchise so bad you could do anything? What the? You almost took my bone heart. We don't need it. We already left the trinket behind. I know, I know. You could use cracked key to... You could use cracked key to do whatever. You could go into a red room. Yeah, go into a red room, fight six enemies, and then uh, get nothing. Incredible. I know half as many of you twice as well as you deserve. He doesn't know. I don't know, man. Derek, you. Derek, you. You know, just call it a hunch. You can use it to get to the ultra secret room. Oh, he doesn't know about ultra secret rooms? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna do alt path anymore. We're gonna go. I'm just gonna go, you know? We're just gonna go. How does that sound? Look at this. It does actually pretty good. Because we're trying to unlock. Um, Tainted Azazel now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you come in this way. Look at this. Nice little shortcut. That's new technology right there. Yo, Apollo, you still here? You should get one of those um, while you're in Las Vegas. You should get one of those drinks. It's really good. It's like they serve it in like a big Eiffel Tower. I don't know if you've seen it um, everywhere. It's really good. I don't know what it is, but it's in a cup that's shaped like the Eiffel Tower. He said, KFC you later. Yeah, it's it must be a French drink. It's the only explanation. Otherwise, why would they serve it in, uh, in an Eiffel Tower? Did you see that we flew on another planet for the first time? I I saw some kind of tweet about like they 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 built a helicopter on Mars. I don't know what you know it's it's amazing, I suppose. I have absolutely no kind of context for it at all. <laughs> I didn't even know that was on the radar. But it's pretty cool, you know. Because now, like, once we get to Mars, you could do helicopter skiing. So, like, we've really come a long way, I think. And we can get the traffic report as well. They'd be like, on the dark side of Mars, there's, uh, looks pretty much smooth sailing. All the, like, I mean, that's... 
amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm playing it up, but that's, uh, that's amazing. But all space stuff is kind of amazing to me. Like, the Hubble telescope makes no sense to me. It just seems like a lot of work, right? <laughs> and they're like, oh, we just discovered another planet. And you're like, oh, did you see it? No, but, you know, light should have behaved like this. But actually, it was bent by 0 .003 degrees. So we know that a planet of this mass must actually be there. Oh, but you got a photo of it? No, nah, this is a digital reconstitution of what we expect that it might look like based on uh, its density, which indicates it's a composition of 73% zinc, 2% zirconium. Like, it's just... I, I can't even conceptualize, like, how you... How you do that? It's, I mean, I'm not like I'm not knocking it. It's quite the opposite. It's incredible. Come on, work with me. I took this red heart for you. I took it for you. Let's go. It sucks. <laughs> Suck it up, baby. Dude, our range is out of control. We're all we're hitting enemies that are down on the womb already. We got to go faster. We go, we're we're going to be so late if we don't go faster starting now. And yet here I go going slow again. T melt. Hello Daniel. How you doing? Thanks for the raid. I had a great time watching you play a little Isaac this morning. Hope you enjoyed your tea melting and other associated uh, enjoyabilities. Hey Dan, did you hear that they uh, had a hel they built a helicopter on Mars? We we're talking about all sorts of sciencey stuff here because we're a very smart and erudite uh, YouTube channel, Twitch channel. I think I want it. We got the HP. Why not? Give it a try. Don't even care about sucking it up. Who's we? Human beings, of which I consider myself one. Hello, Chibli. We were just talking about you. I was saying I'm one of your reply guys, but I am not a Chib stand. I think it's true. Dude, I'm so lost on this run. I'm like, are we... <laughs> are we gonna make it? <laughs> yeah, we dropped the trinket. We're doing great. We're doing great. I don't know why I'm sweating it. We're actually in a completely fine spot. No, because I feel like, like, Stan is like, oh, when I wake up in the morning, like, the first thing I do, I gotta check Chib's tweets. Whereas, I'm a reply guy, which means, like, when I see Chib's tweets, I always click the like button. And then, like, maybe leave, like, a little... I mean, maybe type, like, yes, sir, underneath it or something like that. And then every once in a while, he, he deigns uh, me worthy to receive a reply, or sometimes to receive a like as well. OMG, I'm a reply guy too. I think it's okay to be a reply guy. Like, here's the thing, the reply guy took a lot of heat in like the early 2010s era of the internet. Because it was kind of like a, it was a bit of a weird energy, I guess. But I think, you know, we've realized that there's actually, like, more mutant strains that are way more annoying than Reply Guy. And I think people are now like, hey, you know, as long as a Reply Guy doesn't want anything from you, like, he's not replying in the hopes that, like, you know, he's gonna hit you with, like, a GoFundMe link in six months or something like that, then you're like, it's no harm, no foul. No point, no point in that. Yeah, I reply guy Anthony Fantano. He never replies. I don't I don't do it to be like maybe he'll collab. I do it to be like, hey, Melon, review uh Destroyer's Kaput. 
Which he still... Apparently he did do it. But, like, I didn't see it, so... What do I know? Like, ten years ago? Yeah, I wasn't around the, his YouTube channel back then. Or now, but, like, I'm listening to the album now, so it would be very nice if you reviewed it. Saved. Now that I'm a Twitch Rivals champion, maybe he'll reply to me. You never know. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I don't know. This is too much, man. My brain can't handle this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Diplopia. I'm going to grab this and this and this. We're going to pop down this Judgment. We're going to play him and then we're going to suck up his item. Yeah, we're going to Void a Void. I don't know what's going to happen, but... This is the wrong void. Okay, we're gonna void this void instead. This will probably be fine. I, I can't see how it could possibly go wrong. By the way, I know a lot of people have said that like we've slipped into like the, the mirror dimension or like the evil dimension, you know, as, as Earth's uh, course for the future of mankind kind of goes uh, off course, let's say. A gentleman's off course handy. I think I need to apologize. Like, I've been trying to just deny this for a long time. But in 2004, in high school, I typed in 1 million on my calculator and then hit divide zero. Uh, and I think it's possible that when I did that, I maybe ripped a hole in the fabric of space time and. You know, we, we the, the Earth and reality, like, folded in on itself until it hit a foundational level paradox. And, uh, so I'm like, this my bad and everything? Or whatever, but... Like, it's still pretty cool. We still got cool stuff. A lot of new Cheez-Its have come out since then. Cheez-Its? Don't worry, brother. I forgive you. Nice. Psych. What? Come on. <laughs> Are you responsible for extra toasty? Dude, they actually have Cheez-Its in Canada now. If only they could have released them when my metabolism was still, like, you know, good. Nowadays, I gotta stick to goldfish crackers. My wife makes fun of me because she says they're for kids. If they're for kids, why aren't they in the baby food aisle? Actually, like, at the pharmacy, they are, <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, it's very insulting. That's why I don't buy them at the pharmacy. I buy them at the grocery store. Okay, we got, we got nine minutes. That's more than enough time, man. It's more than enough time. Yeah, I don't know why people are so, like, anti-goldfish, man. They're pretty good. They're also, like, not just for babies. Like, they're just a cheddar cheese cracker. I, I, I don't understand why... People are like, it's only a snack that... Kids eat. It's not... It's not an I think you should leave bit. It's like a... It's a real bit. Item room? Ah, well, nevertheless. <laughs> I guess they are shaped like something. Which is a hallmark of a, a food that's for children. But like, you know, Cheez-Its are shaped like something as well. They're shaped like a square. What are you going to do with this Yara rune? Uh, go to a second secret room, find three spirit hearts on the ground, press Q, and then actually have uh, seven spirit hearts. Where'd the other one come from? Oh, there's a typo. What the heck is that? Okay, I don't know what Birthright does with the Polyon, but we take it on everybody. We take those. Like, Dunkaroos are for children. It's it's pure icing. 
It does nothing, it's unimplemented. <sighs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Saved. Dude, you see Dan as an emote of Edmund McMillan's face? Edmundus, that's so good. When your run goes back through time, Edmundus. This TPs you when you pick up money. That seems that seems kind of bad. That seems kind of dangerous. I think we should drop it. I'm, I'm dropping it. It just takes a second. Everyone relax. Hey, you freaking jerk. I'm sure he got permission. I'm not sweating that. I was just surprised. Yoink. It's jarring seeing your donation at 900 when Dan has withdrawn 790 over his past few streams. Look, I, you know, there's a lesson to be learned uh, for Dan. And he's, it takes a long time. Like, I've played the game for thousands of hours and I still make mistakes, right? But um, at some point, like on a run, enough is enough. So just because you, like, can screw over your future self by ruining your donation machine doesn't mean you have to. Dude, I wish I was in the powerlifting Twitch Rivals. Because that would mean we live in, like, an alternate universe where, like, COVID never happened and my gym never shut down, causing me to slip deeper into the uh, undignified habit of capital investments instead of uh, physical fitness. I'm in the corner watching you kiss her. Oh, it was the calculator. Yeah, Ed, Ed Mundus. Mm. I think that's good enough to take. That's good stuff, man. I don't even know what this item does. It's like every other shot is quad shot or something. So embarrassing. More like crap it'll gains. Yeah, I suppose. There goes there goes my bone heart. That's that's a little embarrassing there. There's some embarrassment to be had. It's a familiar, but it's attached to your dome. Dan said he could take you in boxing earlier today. Do we have to have this discussion like once a month? Dan could definitely take me in boxing. Every time there's a YouTuber boxing match, it's like, who would win in a fight? They're like, by the way, I hate Jake Paul. I hate everything he stands for. But if you stole his business model, I would definitely watch it. Dan's in, in much better shape right now, for sure. It's not even close. Like he's he's got he's got the Jake Paul conditioning and I got the Ben Askren. You know, the only boxing I've been doing is uh trying to get to the bottom of this box of donuts. I will say though, Dan always, he always thinks I'm tall and I'm like decidedly very average height. But every time I talk to him about height, he's always like, you're six foot, right? And I'm like, I'm 5'10", like if someone's feeling generous. And he's like, no, you're six foot. And I'm like, how tall are you? Because I thought we were like the same height, but... Maybe, <laughs> maybe you're like five, six, I don't know. He, he's always trying to gas up my height. It's, it's very, it's a strange energy because I'm, I know I'm not particularly tall. I'm just, you know, I'm just vibing. So smelly his boat, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. 
I don't think it's because of the toe walk. I think people shorter than you always think you're taller, and people taller than you always think you're shorter. It's called Napoleon's Law. You have tall energy. I don't know. Not really, I think. My squat was too impressive for me to be tall. Dude, this guy... I don't fear anything, but this guy scares me. Um, what happened to my trinket? <laughs> Got it on one of the alt floors. You can't leave it on alt floors or it does. Oh my god, man, really? Are you kidding me, dude? It's all right. Our planetarium, which doesn't exist anymore. Who? Yes, you can. Well, then what happened to it? Why are we talking about hypotheticals? What, what actually happened? We didn't drop one on this one. <laughs> yeah, that seems... That seems fair. No, Kate is not taller than me. I am taller than Kate. The baby's taller than both of us. It's alright. I just got a... I got a sneaking suspicion. We're gonna make this work anyway. I still got one minute before I'm late anyway. No, no, no. We got to look. We got to look for a planetarium. Maybe it's still here. That would, doesn't make any sense at all. How could it be here? That wasn't this run either? No. Disagree. That was this run. Yeah, that, that was this run, man. Yeah, it was on the basement one. That was last run? Are you you're crazy? That was this run, dude. I think I'm being gaslit here. Okay, basement one. This is our last chance. You don't have a planetarium item? Just because I didn't have any keys to open the door. We went through the whole thing. There's no keys. There's no keys on it, Jerry. There's no keys. We were keyless. That could still give it to us. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Telepills me. Telepills me. Telepills. Telepills. Tele... Tears down. Well, you know. It is what it is. I don't even know what... Did we suck up any spacebar items? Apparently I'm living like six runs in the past. We have 19 damage? I paid attention to absolutely nothing on this run at all. We still might knock some stuff off the post-it. That's worth something. Okay, we're not gonna knock anything off the post-it, actually. <laughs> save, save, thank you, spider. This is the run where you were talking about Subway. Okay, thank you. I mean, I stand by the idea that I think for them to have a brand identity, they should honestly just double down on making garbage sandwiches. I'd like, just make a poutine sandwich or something. It's the kind of stuff that people will be like, I would never eat that, but then they'll definitely try it once. I mean, even Wendy's has a Baconator, right? Like, oh my god. Uh, I thought... Okay, he was done. He was done. There's still a chance here. Just pop that Yara rune at exactly the right time. Thank you for your help, Spider, by the way. This move is not so bad. 
It's terrible. <laughs> all right, all right. I was like, it just needs to. I just need to get in the spokes. All right, slash marker, cursed, Polyon. 